Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson here, your independent Sensi consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. So, I have a small haul from July. I'm still waiting on my Father's Day <laughs> items to arrive. So when that arrives, I will film that and attach that to the end of this video. But I want to get this unpacked and put away. So rather than wait for that second box and do it all together, I'm just going to film them separately and add them together. So you can see basically my final hauls from July. So there were during the month of July a few limited time only, Disney limited time only releases. There were things that were going back into the vault and there are things that are still available. So I wanted to grab some of these new bars. Some I've tried before. I've smelt basically all of them at reunion, though I haven't warmed through them. So what I did first was I grabbed because there were two, no, there were three limited time only Disney releases out that I wanted to grab bars for, but it's always cheaper to go a six pack when you're purchasing wax. So I got myself a six pack of Disney wax. So let's talk about what I got. So this is just gone back into the vault at the end of July, it's in my Sensi Club. I had to pick up a, another stitch while it was available. Stitch is this beautiful aquatic fruity tropical scent. It's got Valencia orange in it, coconut, sugar cane and sea mist I think the notes were. I will pop the notes above when I'm editing this video if I remember of each of these products. But this is my go-to summer aquatic fruity scent. Love it in my daughter's room, love it in the bathrooms and laundries. It's not the strongest of scents, but it's really refreshing. It's really bright, but it's sweet and s tropical at the same time. I believe it's got pineapple in it. So this is probably my other pineapple scent other than Pina Colada Cha Cha that I am drawn to. We were getting one every quarter in our Sensi Club and as soon as it was coming, even if I wasn't using it, because I tend to warm this more in summer than I do this time of year, it would still disappear out of my stash. My daughter would steal it and warm it. So it's one of her favorites too. So I then picked up, and one of these is quite, well, they're both a little bit juicy as you can see. So this is currently available. Moana came back out of the vault. So this to me smells like a under ripened watermelon. It's very fresh, it's very melony, it's very green. So I picked up two of them. This one's not in my Scentsy Club and by itself it's a little too bit of a green note to me. Needs a little bit more of a sweetness. But when I mix this with Go Go Mango or Totally Mini in my daughter's room, I fall in love. So for me, this is one I need to mix with a sweeter fruity note to get a really fresh fruity scent. So I did pick up two, one to make samples with and one to enjoy. Not club worthy for me, but I will enjoy what I have with these two. The next one I picked up was Wally. Now I did smell this at Reunion, so this is also currently available. And the scent notes for Wally are If my phone will load into the wax bars. Oh. 
Disney's um, Pixar Wally classified Sensi Bar like a seedling reaching for the sun. This earth inspired blend of crisp apple, watery cucumber, and dewy greens will have you celebrating the power of new life. So, this one, again, it's very green, but it's a brighter green, whereas Moana's more of that cucumbery, melony type green. There is a crisp brightness added to this and from the apple. And there's also, but it also comes across quite earthy at the same time when I smell this on cold. So that's gonna be interesting warming. This wasn't my favorite from Reunion, to be honest with you again. It's missing the sweet fruity notes I love, but I am still interested to try warming one. And I feel if you like those really earthy green bright scents, this would be one that you would really enjoy. For me personally, this would probably be a bathroom or a laundry scent. So the fifth bar I got was Mickey Mouse and Friends. And this is a very fruity candy peach-like scent. There is a little bit of a softness from the vanilla. I actually haven't warmed through a bar of this. It's been in our catalog for ages. Season in, season out, it sits there and I keep saying I'm gonna warm one of these and see what I think about it. So when I picked up the six pack, I picked up one of them to actually get around to warming it and trying. And the last one in my six pack I picked up, which is also from our catalog is totally mini. So this is floral, fruity, slightly aquatic, but more floral, fruity, a little bit sugary. It does have a hibiscus note in it from memory, but this is one that I really do enjoy mixing with Moana just to add that little bit of sweetness that I feel that Moana is missing. So that was my six pack of Disney Wax I picked up. And the last thing in this box. So when my two year old saw a picture of a fist, all I got was book, 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 book from him. They already have Pooh the Pig. So I had to pick up Hey Hey for the kids. I think my daughter wants it though. So I think it's gonna go for her for Christmas. So, so my husband was just knocking at the door. So this is Hey Hey. Hey Hey comes with his own scent pack in Moana Spirit of Maknui scent. You gotta have Hey Hey if you've got Pua the Kid, Pua the Pig. So the two year old be quite happy once he sees book, 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 as he calls it. And the 10 year old daughter wants it. So look at those big googly eyes. <laughs> How stinking cute is this? Got his sensi logo, his tail. You just want to cuddle him. So. Kids are going to be quite excited to be able to get ho ho, whether it stays in my little Christmas box area for Christmas or gets given to them earlier. I do not know, but he is pretty cute. Look at his big googly eyes. Ooh. So that is Hey Hey. So that was my small box. I am waiting on some of the Father's Day collection that I ordered, so I will attach that to the end of this video later. So welcome back to part two of my end of July haul. As you can see, the second parcel has arrived. This contains just a few last minute things that were being discontinued at the end of July and my Father's Day preferences or collections. Now, the one thing I haven't picked up yet was the Father's Day oils. I am still contemplating picking them up but I haven't picked them up as yet. I did do a six pack of the different bar scents 
and then I picked up a few things that believe that helped. So let's delve into it, shall we? So let's talk about my six pack of bars first, since most of these bars are new to me. We will do a, I think, except for two bars are new to me. So we will do a slip through and I will tell you my opinions on them. So I am just knocking things everywhere, but that's not what I was going to say. I'm about to hop into the website. So I can bring up the scent notes of these Father's Day collection bars because I can't remember what the scent notes are offhand. So first one we're going to talk about is my dear Watson. So this is refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar and suede. Sophisticated and smart. So I have a feeling a lot of these Southern Day scents are going to be on that cologne almost masculine side. And yes, this is a very earthy woodsy masculine cologne it is slightly lighter to my nose so it doesn't feel like it's going to be something that you would warm in open concept area to be honest these type of scents for me are bedroom bathroom not bedroom or bedroom for my boys not necessarily for my main room but they're ones I would put in my boys room I would put in the bathroom I would put in the laundry I'm not the hugest cologne fan the next one is business casual and this one is described as a fusion of exotic cardamom Intriguing caraway, lively pepper and fragrant woods with a powdery whisk blossom. Ooh. This one I think I prefer a little more than my dear Watson. And I think because it has those spices, so it's more spicy masculine as opposed to cologne masculine. This I would probably warm in my bedroom too. It's a powdery, cologne mass spicy. Masculine, I feel if you like scents like white amber and teak, you would probably like business casual. So the next one is one that I have had before and it's gone back into my Scentsy Club. I took it out of my Scentsy Club thinking I probably wouldn't warm it much because it's more to me this is more of a wintry scent and I only ended up getting one I think so I warmed it and then kind of wish I hadn't taken it out of my Scentsy Club so it went back into my Scentsy Club and that is vanilla bourbon so this is still very spicy and masculine but it's steering more towards those bakery edges where you've got a little bit of that foody type of vibe coming in and that is warm vanilla and a smooth sip of bourbon bourbon mingled with a hint of nutmeg so i enjoy warming this in my bedroom in winter so it has gone back into my scentsy club whether it stays in my scentsy club forever probably not but I probably would leave it in my Scentsy Club for a few rounds and pick up a few more to enjoy some vanilla bourbon. And the next one is Route 66. So Route 66 is a windswept drive in a convertible and exhilarating breeze of citrus herbs and musks. So this is for more of those green lovers this is green fresh still slightly cologne but it's coming across 
more of those green, fresh, breezy cologne. Think Beach Man with Route 66 and with Business Casual and My Dear Watson, think more the sophisticated older gentleman, whereas this is more the surfer dude, beach dude, with that outdoorsy type of note. So the last one that was in the Father's Day collection was Sandalwood Tangerine. And this is described as white cedar and a spritz of tangerine brighten up sandalwood groves. And this is also available in pods and body with our Father's Day collection. And I've had different heard different reviews. I've heard this is very more unisex than masculine. And I can see why they're saying that. That you can smell the cedar. So you can smell the sweetness of the wood in this. But then there's that tangerine, which kind of adds like a perfumey rather than a cologne note. But it's like a bright, perfumey note. So I can see where they're going, where, where it's being really nice for body. Again, it smells like it's on the lighter side, but I actually quite enjoyed it. So I will be interested to warm this in my room and see what it smells like. And to make up the six pack, because it's buy five, get one free. I could have done a bundle. They had a few bundles of the Father's Day selection, but it still worked out cheaper in the month of July with their 10% off to do a six pack for $45. So it still worked out cheaper to do that and just throw something else in. So to make up my six pack, I picked up a Twilight Frost. So that was my six pack. The other few items I picked up because they were retiring. I picked up another pink sugarberry mint pod. My daughter really loves that scent. I picked up a stitch. I've already shown this before, a stitch bitty buddy. I ended up gifting the other one I brought as a birthday present. So I picked up another one for myself. And the Be Kind warmer was retiring. This was one of my more popular warmers, so I had to pick up one. I'm really into the porcelain plain look, particularly Christmas time. I love playing with colored globes in these type of warmers. So I haven't decided where this is gonna go yet, but I did pick up a Be Kind warmer, so I'm not gonna open it. I haven't got my plugs out and I picked up a spare be kind warmer dish for one of my customers she has like three be kind warmers so I just picked up this to have on hand for her because now that that warmers actually retired I didn't want if she had an accident with one of her dishes to not be able to get a spare one so that's just to be kept on hand just in case she needs it so and that was my, I guess, last haul for July, last haul for the last catalogue that has just switched over. So I will look forward to speaking to you again. Until then, stay safe and bye for now.